Okay, I'm Michael Tyrannosaurus Rex KDE. Recently, I built my dream car, which is a 65 coupe, all electrified. Uh, last year at the Nadra 10th anniversary drag races, I set a record for the Extreme Street electric drag racer okay. in the quarter mile. Uh, like 45% power, I did a 13 1. I've since gotten a lot of time shaved off my eighth mile time, but not on a quarter mile track. Okay. Um, because of this experience, uh, faster than the white zombie. I'm close. It's gonna be it's gonna be a real race it's when we get it. Okay. I gotta tune my car before I can really stand up to him. But when I get it all tuned, right. you know, it's gonna be hit or miss. Okay. Unless he decides that he's going to cheat, like right. I've already cheated. <laughs> now I'll admit I'm cheating three different ways to be right, right neck and neck with right. him, but. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Okay, so you, your involvement now with HST International is, is sort of their consultant or you do installation? or They brought me on initially as a consultant and now with the uh, Shelby America cars, I'm going to be the person installing the 300 kilowatt electric drivetrains and doing some race modifications like cryo treating all the moving parts. And how, how hard a job is, I mean, who did the actual sort of engineering with this, this package together? A lot of the engineering was done on my original coupe. You know, we have a very similar system. It's just now we're talking about a bigger budget. So all of the tricks that I wanted to do on my coupe, okay. we're going to make sure we do these on the Shelby's. You know, okay. carbon fiber, right. a little bit higher grade rear ends, much lighter rear ends, crowd treating all the parts, right. uh, few racing tricks here and there. Just really top notch, make it so that we're going to really okay so what will the what what's your target performance for the cobra the electric cobra here? i'm looking at being able to do like 0 to 60 in 3.2 or faster <laughs> uh it all comes down to can we get enough rubber to the ground right. and you know we've got more than enough torque to right. do it and uh we're probably going to set it up to be 120 mile per hour maximum speed because you know the inherent uh the aerodynamics of the Roadster have been known to be a little notorious, about 130. So, right. so is this vehicle meant to be just simply for people that are involved in, in drag racing, or can this be a street vehicle for somebody to go down to Starbucks and get coffee if they want? Well, I drive my Daytona as right now. It's my exclusive car. It's the okay. only car I own okay. right now. Uh, I think you should drive it every day. Right. And I think you should have two, but. Uh, right. Okay, um, so tell us a little bit about the, the Spectre, 300 uh, volt? 300 drive, kilowatt 300 dress, kilowatt. so you know that translates 375 plus horsepower. Okay. We have, the motor has been dynoed at uh, slightly over a thousand foot-pounds of torque at 70 percent power. Okay. So we know that we'll have a thousand foot-pounds of torque reliably to the front of the differential. Uh, we'll be probably running 3.4 rear end gears which will put us 3,400 foot-pounds of torque approximately where the rubber meets the road. Yeah, you'll be burning, somebody, somebody will be burning a lot of rubber. What kind of, what kind of, uh, obviously you're going to be limited by speed limits, you know, in, in, around town and things like that, but what are you sort of estimating, given the battery pack and so on, what are you estimating, what are you telling people that they could expect to operate this vehicle as a street vehicle? Uh, we're telling them that they can get under normal sane driving conditions between 50 to 100 miles range on okay. our battery pack. Okay. I mean, it's very clear in the eighth mile drag race, my car burns one tenth of the amount of battery power that's in this pack. Okay. But you know, that's a drag race. Right. I'm crushing the nitrous charged police pursuit vehicles. Right. Right. So. And these are using what? Are they lead, lithium? We're using uh, state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries. Lithium -ion batteries. In okay. particular, with these Cobra, we're going to be using K2's lithium-ion phosphate batteries, okay. which are an extremely good battery. And how many uh, kilowatt hours are you packing on board? For the Cobra 300, we're looking at a 13.8 kilowatt hour pack. Okay. And the base model of the Renali, we're also looking at the same pack for convenience.
that, that's a good segue. So let's pass the microphone over to Ed. Ed is the uh, president at, uh, give us your title, Renali, right? It's, uh, yeah, I'm uh, the um, owner of uh, Renali Mustang, one of the owners of Renali Mustang. Okay. And uh, what I did is uh, about two years ago, uh, I wanted to develop a, a car, a supercar for myself. So I decided to go with uh, the effects of a brand new Mustang, which is a 05 Mustang with the new body style, because it kind of goes back to the 60s. So you get that muscle car look. Right. So um, what I did is I developed a new front bumper. It looked a lot like the Shelby back in the 60s, the real nice looking timeless Shelby looking cars right. and then um, I put some Halibrand style wheels on it put some spinners on the car then I striped it and then I put a fabulous a real good paint job on it you know because all the car guys you got to have the good paint job right, out there right. and then I lowered the car and then I put upper and lower scoops and then molded into the car and then I put a little bump in the hood kind of like um, you know the Ellen Oregon in 60 seconds type car and then I put a wing on the back. And what I did is I put a full front bumper, full rear, and then side skirts. And they all went in a factory hole, so it looked like a factory car coming right out of the factory. Okay. Didn't look like a kit car. Right. And then on top of that, the number one thing is you got to give it horsepower. Right. So I, the horsepower range goes from about 300 horsepower to 700 horsepower. Okay. So I have a 350R, a 450R, a 550R. And then I have a 700R, which has a 302 stroker, uh, stage two heads. Uh, it's a big block into a six-speed transmission. So now what we have, we've got a muscle car that can finally handle the electric power. Because electric power is going to be just on our 300E is 300 horsepower with 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. And on that kind of platform, you can't put it in a small car. The only thing that could really handle that kind of power is a muscle car. And that's what the Renali Mustang is. It's a muscle okay. car. So when did you decide to shift from doing gasoline muscle cars to offering a electric option? Then? Uh, I probably doing, doing when I started robbing my son's piggy bank to pay for gas. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I never did that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, gas prices are raised, rising, so it's right. kind of knocking you out of the market a little bit. So actually I started sending... Uh, selling higher end cars, which the volume went down from the 350 and 450. Now it's like the 550 and 700s. So um, to expand my market even more, I uh, met up with uh, HST Automotive to get quality. I actually did it just to get the quality issue for the car. And it, what it turned into was a relationship with this electric uh, background that they have and automotive building. So the, the two just kind of mended together, and uh, now we're connected, and uh, now we're a actually able to produce an electric car that can go 100 to 200 miles on a charge okay. and produce the car. So now we can do that. Yeah. So, this, so this vehicle is, I think I was told yesterday that it's... I, I could get one if I wanted to order one for about 85000 is that right? Yeah, I mean, uh, what you do is you're going to bring, um, uh, actually, just start with the V6. Don't waste the money and go to GT. So what we're going to do is rip the transmission and the engine out of it. Right. So why, why so waste the money on it? Car. Yeah, it's about $17,000 okay, for a car. Right. So you bring us the car and then uh, we convert it and turn right. it into a Renali. You get the full appearance package. You get the interior package. That's a leather, the stitching, just like a, a full muscle car, right. and a carbon fiber dash kit, mats, all kinds of things on the inside, right. nav system. And then on the outside, you get the full paint with the stripes buried, you get the hood pins, you get the molded in upper and lower scoops, and then you get the brake package. Because on, on this electric motor, we have to put in the 14 inch uh, brakes with a little bit better calipers. So right. we need that stopping right, power now. Right. And then we put some high performance, 200 mile an hour tires on it. Oh, has it how has the weight of the vehicle changed going to electric as opposed to the gasoline? Then? Well, you know what? It, uh, when we get the car from Ford, it's about 3,300 pounds with the engine, just like if you bought it straight off the lot. Right. What we do is once we tear the engine out, transmission and put all the electric components back on it to make an electric running car full electric we actually lost about 100 pounds believe it or not okay but uh, because you're using the lithium then as well right I assume in your car, yeah so. yeah we're using the lithium and another nice thing about it with the electric motor in the front and some of the batteries in the back we've actually created a 50 50 weight ratio which is perfect for racing and driving and handling so we've actually improved the car dramatically from what Ford has already done